Hello everyone and welcome back to Linux Network. Today we are looking at a distribution that has a reputation for being one of the most difficult yet most rewarding operating system in the Linux world. We're talking about NixOS, specifically the brand new release NixOS 25.11 codename Zantuja. If you are new to Linux, you might have heard people talking about NixOS. It's famous for doing things differently. Unlike Ubuntu or Fedora, where you change settings by clicking buttons, NixOS is built around a single configuration file. You write down what you want your computer to do, and the system builds itself to match your instructions perfectly. It sounds intimidating, I know, but this update, version 25.11, brings a massive amount of user-friendly improvements, gaming updates, and new desktop environments that may make it worth the learning curve. Today, we are going to break down everything in this release, from the new GNOME 49 desktop to the experimental Cosmic desktop, and some critical changes to how the internet works on this system. Whether you are a total beginner or a distro hopper, I'm going to explain exactly what these changes mean for your daily use. So, let's break it down. Let's start with the foundation. NixOS 25.11 is powered by the Linux 6.12 LTS kernel. For those of you just starting out, the kernel is the core program that manages your computer's hardware. It handles your processor, your memory, and your graphics card. The LTS part stands for long-term support. This is crucial. In the Linux world, we have two main types of kernels. Stable kernels that change frequently and LTS kernels that are maintained for years. Because we focus a lot on gaming here on the channel, having the 6.12 LTS kernel is a very big deal. This version includes the latest drivers and compatibility updates for modern hardware. If you have a newer graphics card or a laptop released in the last year, this kernel ensures your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and power management will actually work correctly. By choosing an LTS kernel, the NixOS developers are prioritizing stability. They want the system to be reliable for you to use every single day without worrying about an update breaking your computer. Now, let's look at the user interface. When you download the standard version of NixOS 25.11, you are greeted with GNOME 49. The desktop environment is the graphical part of the computer you interact with, your windows, your icons, and your menus. GNOME is the most popular desktop in the Linux world for a reason. It stays out of your way. GNOME 49 continues to refine the experience. It feels incredibly fast. If you are coming from Windows, the layout is a bit different, but it is very easy to learn. You have an activities button in the corner that shows you all your open windows and applications. In this update, the search function is faster, and the system settings are more organized. For a beginner, this is excellent because you don't need to use the terminal to change your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth settings. The graphical interface handles it all smoothly. We are about to get into the really cool experimental features, including the new Cosmic Desktop and the gaming updates. But before we do that, if you want to understand Linux without the confusion, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and make sure you ring the notification bell. NixOS 25.11 now officially supports the Cosmic Beta Desktop environment. Cosmic is being developed by the hardware company System76, and it is a big deal because it is built from scratch using the Rust programming language. Why should a regular user care about Rust? Because it makes the software incredibly fast and resistant to crashing. Most desktop environments we use today are built on code that is very old. Cosmic is brand new technology. It features styling, which means when you open a window, it doesn't float over other windows. Instead, it snaps perfectly into place next to them. This allows you to see everything at once without dragging windows around. Since NixOS is often used by developers and power users, having native support for Cosmic this early in its development is fantastic. You can enable it in your configuration file and you are ready to test the future of Linux desktops. Let's talk about security. NixOS 25.11 introduces support for firewall a firewall is a piece of software that monitors the network traffic coming into and going out of your computer. It blocks unauthorized access. Previously, setting up a firewall on NixOS could be a little static and rigid. Firewall is dynamic. This means you can change the rules without restarting the firewall service. For example, if you switch from your secure home Wi-Fi to a public Wi-Fi at a coffee shop, 
firewall can handle that transition much more intelligently. You can now configure this easily in your NixOS settings. It adds a layer of professional grade security to your personal computer, which is always a good thing. For those of you who dual boot, meaning you have both Windows and Linux installed on the same computer, this next update is for you. NixOS now supports the RE Find Graphical Boot Manager. Usually, when you start a Linux computer, you see a menu called Grab. It's just white text on a black screen. It works, but it's ugly. RE Find replaces that text with a beautiful graphical menu. It automatically finds Windows, Linux and any other OS you have and presents them as nice icons. They also add a secure boot support for the Limin bootloader. Secure boot is a safety feature on modern motherboards that prevents malicious software from loading before your operating system starts. In the past, Linux users often had to turn secure boot off to get things working. Now, with better support, you can leave these security features enabled and NixOS will boot up just fine. Now I need you to pay close attention to this part, especially if you use a VPN for work or privacy. There is a breaking change in this release. In previous versions of NixOS, the network manager came pre-installed with plugins for popular VPNs like OpenVPN or WireGuard. The developers decided to make the system lighter by removing them. If you need a VPN, you must now explicitly tell the system to install the specific plugin you need. You do this by adding the plugin to your configuration file under networking.networkmanager.plugins. If you don't do this, you may update your system and find that your VPN simply disappears. This is the NixOS way. You only get exactly what you ask for, but for a beginner, this can be a nasty surprise. So please check your config file before you update. There are two major technical changes happening in the background that you won't see but you will feel in the performance. First, the tool used to update the system called NixOS Rebuild has been completely rewritten in Python. This is good news because Python is a very mature language. It means that when you update your system, the process should be more stable and if something goes wrong, the error message should be easier to read and understand. Second, the initialization system, the very first program that runs when you turn on the PC, has been rewritten in Rust. This new tool is called NixOS init. By using Rust, the developers are ensuring that the boot process is memory safe. It reduces the chance of system crashing during startup and speeds up the time it takes to get from the power button to your desktop. If you prefer the KDE Plasma desktop over GNOME, there is big news. NixOS 25.11 has officially removed all older versions of KDE, specifically anything based on Qt5 including the old Plasma 5 desktop. The developers are forcing a migration to KDE Plasma 6. This is a positive move. KDE Plasma 6 is the modern standard. It has much better support for Wayland, which is the new display protocol for Linux, better multi-monitor support and it handles high resolution screens much better. If you have an old configuration file that specifically asks for Plasma 5, the update will fail. You need to update your file to request Plasma 6. It's time to embrace the new version. Finally, along with the operating system updates, we get the usual refresh of all our applications. NixOS 25.11 includes Sync Ting 2.0. This is a fantastic tool that lets you sync folders between devices, like your phone and your laptop, over your local network without using a cloud service like Google Drive. It's private, secure and fast. We also have PostgreSQL 17 included for those of you who work with databases. And of course the toolchain for developers, compilers like GCC and LVM have all been updated to their latest versions ensuring that any software you build is optimized. So that is the overview of NixOS 25.11 Zantuja. The big question is, should you try it? If you are completely new to Linux, NixOS is a challenge. It requires you to learn a little bit about configuration files. However, with the polish of GNOME 49 and the stability of the 6.12 LTS kernel, the actual usage of the system is smoother than ever. If you are a gamer or an enthusiast who loves the idea of an unbreakable system where you can experiment with settings and roll back instantly if something goes wrong, this release is the perfect time to jump in. The addition of Cosmic and the modern kernel makes it a top tier choice for 2025. 
You can get the ISO images right now from the official NixOS website. They offer a graphical installer with GNOME for standard Intel slash AMD computers and for ARM64 systems. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, it really helps the channel. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Linux Network. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.